Hey, greetings everybody. Gleekon here again with another episode of Lore of Warcraft. Um, on our last episode, we read both uh, the last couple ones we read in Chronicles and then the novel Beyond the Dark Portal about how the Eye of uh, Dalaran was was secured, how it was kind of, they infiltrated Dalaran, they took it, they escaped, and that's um, how it's sold in Chronicles as well. Probably in the game, they're going to smash and destroy Dalaran in order to get it. That's just how it rolls. Um, so we're going to now read the Scepter of Sargeras, which I'm guessing from the title is going to get us up to that third and final artifact, fourth, if you count the Skull of Gul'dan. Um, and so have us from a Chronicle standpoint, we're all ready to roll and play uh, the, almost all the rest of the Horde campaign, minus maybe the last finale level. Um, and I think we're probably going to get to read this uh, concurrent no chapter in the novel. So we'll get that next episode out, but stay a while and listen to The Scepter of Sargeras. The third hunting party could not make the journey to the tomb of Sargeras entirely on the backs of black dragons. The distance was immense, and there were no islands en route where their creatures could land and rest. Even for Deathwing's mighty servants, such a journey was beyond their ability. The hunters needed to find another way to reach the tomb. They settled on stealing ships from the same harbor where Warchief Doomhammer had overseen the construction of the Horde fleet. The site had fallen under Alliance control and been renamed Menethil Harbor in honor of Lord Aron's king. There were plenty of ships, but many of them were Alliance vessels under the command of Admiral Dalin Probmore. All right, and here you go as well. You're they're an Alliance vessel. So Kul Teras is still part of the Alliance at this point in time, unlike what it says in the actual game text. Also, we probably should have waited to do those last couple C missions until we got here, but it, it's fine. We're not really... That, that stuff was not even... It's only tangentially, like, canon anyway. Despite the risks, the hunters had little choice but to take ships. Their only advantage was the element of surprise. The Alliance Navy would certainly not expect to fight black dragons and members of the Horde. In that, the hunters were wrong. When Gorfiend had set out on his quest, he had been followed. Garona had kept her distance, observing the Death Knights packed with Deathwing. When the hunting parties had separated in three directions, Garona had to choose which to follow. She had shadowed the group that traveled to Menethil Harbor, believing that it was seeking out the tomb of Sargeras. She was right. As the hunting party planned its assault on the harbor, Garona went to work. She could not warn the humans directly, they would not listen to an orc, but she knew their language well. She scrawled a note to warn about the impending attack, and she made sure the Alliance would find it. It was a simple matter. She showed herself to the harbor's guards, and when they gave chase, she dropped the missive and ran. The incident gained attention immediately. An orc intruder leaving notes was not something seen every day, and the information in it was hard to believe. Yet, when the black dragon swooped down a few hours later, the humans were not completely unprepared. A bloody confrontation erupted in the harbor, and the hunting party only managed to steal a few small, slow ships. They sailed them clumsily out to sea, while the black dragons burned any vessels that attempted to pursue. Garona was unable to follow. She traveled as quickly as she could back to the Blasted Lands to tell Kedgar what had happened. All right, so all of that is fine, except the humans didn't get a warning from Garona. They got an in-the-spur-of-the-moment warning since a bone chewer started eating some dude's legs alive. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really change what happened. They stole a few chip, sh ships. The dragons burned anyone that tried to pursue. Okay, so it's a small detail, but it sounds like they are they have retconned Garona's involvement a lot more, even though in The Last Guardian, she was a big part of that. Uh, so I don't know... Yeah, she just sort of fell off. She was like an afterthought um, during the time of these two novels. The voyage to the tomb of Sargeras was slow and miserable on ships not meant for the open ocean. When the hunting party arrived, they had to fight their way through the swarm of demons that had killed Gul'dan, taking great losses. The scepter of Sargeras was indeed inside the tomb, and the hunting party claimed it. It was well worth the journey. The artifact's ability to open rifts in the fabric of reality would make it critical to Nerzhul's efforts back on Draenor. Only a scant few members of the hunting party made the journey back to the Eastern Kingdoms. When the hunters finally reunited with Gorfiend at the Dark Portal, the Death Knights made preparations to return to Draenor. 
Deathwing had already brought them enormous carts loaded with his precious cargo. The objects were heavy, large, and enchanted. Mortal eyes could not see what lay within the crude containers, and magical energies seemed to have no effect on them. The contents were of little concern to Gorfine. He only wanted to finish his mission. Deathwing was satisfied. The horde would carry a huge clutch of black dragon eggs to Draenor, and soon he would join them to oversee the re rebirth of his dragonflight. And I wonder if those become the netherwing dragon eggs? Because um, otherwise there should be no dragons on Draenor. So that kind of makes sense. Also, we are like fully primed because the last miss mission of the Horde campaign is they bust their way with with the artifacts back through the dark portal and hightail it back to Draenor. And then Nerjul uses that stuff. And I know he abandons a lot of the Horde on Azeroth as well, which is why you have so much Horde still there, ready to do Warcraft 3 and Beyond the Dark Portal and all that stuff. All right, so we got this episode in the pipe 5x5. Five five. Catch everybody next time on Lore of Warcraft. Thanks.